With no E3, no full week-long explosion of game reveals, we will see games coming to the consoles throughout the remainder of the year. Xbox is ready to show the world the brand new faces, the ways to play, and the games coming to Xbox Series X. And it all starts in July, and they really do have hundreds of games ready to unveil. This is Colt Eastwood. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. Instead of just talking, I'm going to show you the exclusive games we will be playing on the new Xbox console. And if you appreciate this kind of content and production, hit the like and subscribe to the channel, set your player to the highest settings, and let's take a look at the games. Xbox's 2020 summer events kick off with the Summer Game Fest, hosted by Jeff Keighley. Since Xbox can't host a show with thousands of attendees with hands-on with the latest games, Xbox has prepared a downloadable, playable demo set of over 60 ID at Xbox games to play on your home console and possibly in the xCloud beta from the comfort of your own home or wherever you are since you can't attend an E3 event. Playable demos of 60 games will be available from July 21st to July 27th. The presser reads, We'll have more than 60 brand new game demos for upcoming, unreleased Xbox games ready to check out for free. Look for the special Game Fest demo tile in the Xbox One dashboard that week to find the collection of available demos. A few things to keep in mind, many of these demos are early and some are for games that won't be out for quite some time. You'll get to experience these games early, some way early, which is awesome, but you should also note that these games will continue to evolve and be polished as they near release. These demos will only be up on the Xbox dashboard for one week. Some might be republished to the demo channel later, but many will simply evaporate at the end of the week, so make sure to check them out while you can. The developers would love to hear what you think. Hit them up on social media or through their websites. If you like the game, tell them. If you have constructive criticism, they would love to hear that too. This is all free and unlimited to play throughout the week, and if 60 games weren't enough for you to find something that you could be excited about, they said some 75 to 100 games total will be in the demo section by the time we get to the ID at Xbox demo week. So the Xbox event kicks off July 21st, but the real big event that fans have been waiting for since 2019 is the E3 briefing for Xbox to be titled the Xbox Game Showcase, premiering July 23rd on Monday, 9 a.m. Pacific Time. In May, we saw an overflow of third-party partner games, but this event is the showcase of the first-party Xbox Game Studios titles, as Xbox has confirmed that each of the 15-plus teams are currently working in Unreal Engine 5 and proprietary new engines for Xbox and PC for next generation. We don't know how many games will be shown, but E3 2019 showcased over 45 games. And with Xbox Game Studios global publishing and worldwide partnerships, we will see many more surprises, but here is what we know. The generation for the Xbox Series X started at the end of 2019 at XO19 with a reveal of Rare's open world fantasy cell shaded God Game Everwild. With a glimpse of their telltale, colorful, vibrant, whimsical world. The adventure game is a total mystery, but supported by Rare's decades of creating unique and unforgettable experiences. Everwild promises a natural and magical world to play alone or with friends. Hellblade 2 Senua's Saga was revealed to be a massive, highly detailed thriller based on Ninja Theory's hit series with industry-leading motion capture and impressive visuals never before seen or seen possible on console hardware lifelike cinematic photorealistic storytelling that is built specifically to utilize the full power of the Xbox Series X. The trailer, although shown at 24 FPS, will be played at 60 FPS with high resolution showcasing the ray trace capabilities in the Xbox Series X, making this grim, dark, and psychotic underworld come to life. Ninja Theory is also working on an experimental game, Project Mara, diving deep into the landscape of mental health and immersion with ray trace visuals and lifelike interactions thanks to Ninja Theory's award-winning motion capture performances. Crossfire X is a global phenomenon in the multiplayer competitive shooter space rivaling Counter-Strike. The original is dated but being fully realized for current gaming with top-grade graphics, animations, and physics in this Twitch shooter. 
Crossfire X looks to win back millions of players starting on Xbox, and Remedy is currently working on adapting a single player campaign story that has nuanced storyline that blurs the line between the fight of good and evil as two colliding factions fight the global conflict. Remedy has brought on veteran developers from Max Payne and Battlefield for Crossfire X to accompany this online shooter, likely to launch for the Xbox Series X first. The power of the Xbox Series X in graphics, processing, and especially lightning fast SSD will make Flight Simulator possible on console with no compromises. The full experience of flying over Earth and thousands of detailed cities and landmarks with cloud-powered photogrammetry, Flight Simulator is launching on PC but will be fully realized on Xbox Series X. Nothing is bigger than the planet Earth and Flight Simulator will give us the chance to see every corner of our world. In Exile is ready to launch Wasteland 3 for the Xbox One, crossing over to the Series X, but In Exile is working on a big budget AAA RPG for the first time in their long history of creating games. Rumors are that the new game is a third person or first person RPG, but is in early development and the team may take this moment to share how they plan to bring this game to next generation. Mojang will be showcasing the power of the Xbox Series X hardware, accelerated ray tracing in a gigantic building block world in the long-awaited Super Duper Minecraft pack come to life for the first time on console with stunning reflections and realistic lighting, transforming the pedestrian look of the blocking worldwide phenomenon into a whole new experience. Obsidian has a team completing Grounded for the current generation, so don't expect to see it at this event, but the team has hundreds working on the next fantasy RPG to rival the wonder, awe, and the living world of Elder Scrolls. With Obsidian's decades of experience with Pillars of Eternity and Fallout RPG craft, and the building blocks of the Outer Worlds, we can expect to see a vibrant, fully realized and lived in fantasy RPG to immerse us in a place to build a long lasting character story. Turn 10 has taken an extra year of development for Forza Motorsport 8 and it's going to be a massive eye-opening racer to release in the launch window for the Xbox Series X, possibly in the early spring of next year. Xbox has plans to showcase the next Forza game at a full native 4K at 120 FPS with ray tracing on the Xbox Series X. Doubts of this feat need only look at the current Xbox One X with the 2012 Jag cores running Forza 7 at full native 4K 60 three years ago. But the best part of the new motorsports game is an overhauled sim with more options, more features and a true leap to next generation with rumors of Rallycross being added to the experience, Forza 8 might have it all. Playground Games is taking an extra year as well to create Forza Horizon 5. The last Horizon Festival was as close to 3 in 2016. Even though both games were wildly successful, the franchise is in dire need of an overhaul of its own. The 2018 rumors of a Tokyo drifting and Japanese countryside game may be coming true and Playground is taking that extra time to realize the game on Xbox Series X with high performance, sharp visuals and vibrant landscapes. Playground Games is also working on the next Fable which is rumored to boast the visuals beyond The Witcher 3 and the beauty and wonder that Playground has created in Horizon for over 10 years. Fable is a massive RPG for Xbox and has a slew of talented staff from the best studios around the world now at home with Xbox. Fable looks to bring back the fantasy, world and character building in ways only this franchise can deliver and this has been a long time coming and we may see Fable releasing next year. Few eyes outside of the studio have seen Fable but we are hearing that it is going to be the biggest RPG in years. The star of the show will definitely be the Master Chief and expect the longest segment to be centered around the tech bringing Halo Infinite to the next generation. The big, open, spacious world, the ray traced visuals, the slip space engine bringing all of that into a 4K frame buffer at 60 or 120 FPS across multiplayer and the large scope story campaign. Xbox will show extended gameplay walkthroughs of the game across landscapes and firefights in the quintessential Halo on foot gunplay and vehicle mayhem. They will likely announce the Halo multiplayer beta to go live and the rumored earth shattering plan to offer all of the online competitive content free to play 
across console and PC, bringing the huge name of Halo to the masses, much like competitive free-to-play titles have done over the past couple of years. Rumors of Atriox, the brute leader of the Banished, returning from Halo Wars to be the main antagonist has fans excited. Halo will be a hallmark moment of the show, but there's still much more to see. Nothing. What everyone is waiting for is the AAA dream team from Santa Monica, The Initiative. Rumors of Joanna in Perfect Dark getting the Tomb Raider reboot treatment have a ring of truth as we are hearing that the initiative is working on a stealth third-person action-adventure shooter in the world of Perfect Dark, possibly drawing from the long-absent Sam Fisher operative hero, giving Xbox their very own first-party exclusive Splinter Cell-esque game from the top-tier team led by Daryl Gallagher. Xbox's Phil Spencer has had hands-on with this game months ago and expect to see it teased or shown at the Xbox event. There are many other wildcard games, some multi-platform games partnered for marketing with Xbox for the coming years, and possibly a surprise new studio acquisition from Japan or from Europe or possibly something big like this. This is Colt Eastwood. Thank you so much for watching. This really was a big video. And I had to pull a lot of resources, clips, and my own gameplay to illustrate everything we think and have heard we will see on July 23rd. This is a totally different Xbox, and I'm glad that they have put this much investment and tech into making the next generation what I think will be nothing like what we expected to see from the Xbox One. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. Those that want to further support the work I'm doing, the time it takes to create videos like this, you can join the channel or Patreon and you'll be entered into monthly giveaways and get early access to videos a day before they go live. If you want some Colt Eastwood merch, some of it's just gaming related, check out the Teespring link in the description. Most shirts are about $13, so thanks again for checking out the video. Have a great week and more news to come as we hear more, so hit the bell to be notified of new content. And have a great time gaming, be safe, and as always, be nice.